Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. Today I will show you how to create a fantastic testimonial section using GemPages Essential Elements. The testimonial section serves as a potent tool for showcasing reviews from satisfied customers, thereby fostering trust among your leads and influencing their purchase decisions. A standard testimonial section comprises a heading, subheading, star rating, text, and reviewer's details, such as a profile picture, name, or position. These testimonials are commonly presented in carousels as they do not only streamline the efficient presentation of information, but also amplify interactivity, culminating an immersive user experience. Let's start designing a testimonial section by adding a row element and adjusting its margin to 48 pixels. I'll check the design on mobile for consistency. However, I don't need to do anything here because GemPage's global style feature will ensure responsiveness. To add a subheading, simply drag a text block element and adjust the settings for each screen type. You can change colors, line height, and center alignment to your liking. After that, add a heading element and configure it to be Heading 2 Style. Adjust the font size for each screen type, making sure to set the font weight to bold, line height to 130%, and center alignment. Use the H2 HTML tag for this element and increase the bottom space to 48 pixels in the advanced settings. Now it's time to add the carousel element. By default, the element has four items, but I like to display three reviews, so I will delete one, temporarily disable the dots and the arrows next and previous feature. And for a more responsive display, in the carousel setting, I will reduce the items number to two and one respectively in tablet and mobile. Next, add star ratings to the testimonial items using the icon list Haas feature. Customize a star on its size and color, and duplicate to save time and delete the others. Remember to reduce the spacing between items for a clean look. For detailed reviews, I am adding a heading element with heading 6 format and adjusting font size for different screens. Modify the text color and semi-bold font weight, 130% line height, to optimize SEO, I am using Heading 3 for Items Heading because HTML tags should be orderly and decreased in a section. Next, reducing the bottom spacing that helps connects heading and content. Adding a text block and content to it for detailed customer reviews in Style Paragraph 1 and Lighter Text Color. After that, I'll add a line element to split the content and reviewer's information. Configure the settings by changing to a lighter color, setting the thickness to one pixel, and making it full width. Next, add a two-column row and upload an image. In the image settings, I will remove the bottom space, turn off full width, and set the width to 56 pixels. And upload an image. Fit it to the content with a column gap of 16 pixels. The other column will be adding a heading element to display the reviewer's name. Change the style to paragraph one, font weight, and use H4 for the HTML tag. Adjust the spacing to eight pixels. Moving on, let's add an icon list element. Remove two items, change the icon, Add text and configure the same setting. And set the icon and text spacing to eight pixels. Spice things up by changing the icon color and setting the size to 20 pixels. For the mobile screen, change the display by configuring it to two column layout. Enable the fit to content feature and decrease the column gap to 14 pixels. In the setting, I will triplicate the icon and modify the inside content and eliminate space in the desktop 
And lastly, set up the carousel display for a better user experience by increasing the spacing to 62 pixels. I will enable drag to scroll, infinity loop, and checking responsiveness, desktop, tablet, and mobile screen. That's one way to create testimonial sections. You can also use third-party apps to showcase reviews in listing or carousel formats. That's it. Now we have completed a testimonial section using basic layout. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.